Hello, I'm Justin Loretz. I'm the product editor for What Mountain Bike Magazine. These are some woods not far from where I live, and well, I only found them a couple of months ago, which is odd considering I've lived here all my life. I took a left turn when I should have taken a right, and happened into these wonderful woods. I've spent about 18 hours over the last few weeks kicking in a rough cross-country trail. It's not perfect yet, but it'll give me something to work on over the winter. It just goes to show, with mountain biking, it pays to follow your nose. One of the great things about these woods is that there are very few rocks, very few roots in the dirt, and uh, as you can probably see, not much low-lying vegetation. And that makes it really easy to stand up on a bit of high ground in the woods and uh, just kind of look around and look for lines that you can see that are obvious. Uh, you know, nice bits of flowing trail, bits of uh, undulation that roll nicely into each other. Anything that looks like it'll be fun to ride on a bike. Just then go and have a walk across it see what it feels like underfoot. Even in a wood like this, you'll find there are patches which are more damp or more dry than others. And obviously, it pays to try and keep as much of your trail on the ground that naturally is dry uh, than it does trying to put it through the, the slippery, greasy clay bits. Try not to cut anything down, try not to move anything that's uh, firmly fixed into the floor. Uh, really just a trail saw and a small hatchet to uh, cut the dead stuff out of the way. Anyway, that's enough talking about it. Let's go and ride it. <laughs>